Hi guys, Jordan here, and today we're gonna be looking at Motion Array's video review system. So, let's jump right into it. Okay, so the place to start is at motionarray.com. And to get to the review system, either go to your tool section, and then review, and then go to edit reviews, or go to your account settings, and then to review. From here, you can begin the process of getting your video reviewed. The way it works is to start out by uploading your video that you want to be reviewed. To upload a video, just go to this button here that says upload and click it. Now you can drag and drop your videos from your computer right into the box here, and the process of uploading will start immediately. As it's going, feel free to title your video and give a bit more of a description so that your collaborators can have as much information as possible. Then make sure it's ready for your review section by checking this box for review. If you're working on a sensitive project and you want that extra layer of security, you can password protect your project so that only your inner circle can see the work in progress. And if you don't want your client downloading your video, you can either enable or disable that feature here. Once it's fully uploaded and processed, you can select a thumbnail for your video or upload a custom one from your computer. But now that our video is done uploading, it's already got its own review page. We just need to navigate there by going back to our review section and then clicking on our newly uploaded video. From there, we're taken to our review section and whatever you see here on this page is what your collaborators will also see when you get them to review your video. So if we really want to impress our clients, friends, or coworkers, we can actually customize the site to spice it up a little bit. First things first, let's make it our own by adding our own company logo. Thankfully, this process is super simple. Up at the top left here, you can just drag and drop your logo into this box here, and your logo will be uploaded and saved to your review page. Simple as that. Next thing before we send this review site off is that we want to customize it so that it appears as its own privately hosted site. Even if you don't own your own domain, that's okay. We can still personalize the URL. So we're gonna go back to our account settings for a second and take care of this. So back at our settings, we're just gonna quickly go to our portfolio section and then go down to the portfolio settings. From here, if we don't own our own domain name, we can work with a motion erase post.pro domain. Changing it is as simple as coming up with the URL that you want and if it's available, start using it immediately. Each review video will then be an extension of this domain. But if you have your own domain that you own, you can actually link it up with your Motion Array account so that it's all under your personal domain extension. For more information on how to connect your domain, feel free to contact your domain provider. But I'm just gonna stick with a post.pro domain for right now. Okay, so now our website is customized to be our own. So back here at the review section, let's go over how to actually use the system. First things first, how do you actually send it off to your collaborators for them to view? Just go to the share button here at the top right. Click it to add an email of a collaborator. And feel free to include a personal message telling them more about the specifics. Once you've added them, the email will be sent to their inbox with a link to the site you're currently on. Great, okay, so now when they open up this video to view, they can push play or hit the space bar to watch the video and gather notes. But if they have any comments about specific parts of the video, they can pause the video and type in a comment. And you'll notice that when you start to type a comment, you can see a time code above it here. The comment is linked to the portion of the video that they're currently at. And if you need to be frame accurate, you can also use the left and right arrow buttons to go forwards or backwards by one frame at a time. So once they've posted the comment, you can see a little notch here in the play bar depicting exactly where in the video their comment is directed at, in addition to having a specific time code displayed as well. But if you want to be even more specific than that, you can actually click on any part of the video and then make a comment to have a little blue indicator to help direct exactly where that person is talking about. Pretty awesome, right? Okay, so now that our video has been filled up with some comments, what's next? You've seen the comments and you're already starting to make changes on the next draft of the video. So to make sure that your collaborators know that you're on the ball, mark that specific task as done by clicking the check mark button here. Great, and now that you've made all these changes and your new video draft is done, you need to get the review process done again. So do we just go through this whole process all over again? Well, kind of, but with a very important change. Once you have a new video draft ready, instead of just uploading a new one, Go to your review section 
and go to the video that served as your first draft. Then, under the options here, go to Manage Versions. From this specific location, you can actually upload a new video and it'll be designated as the next draft of the same video. Once it's uploaded, open up your video and now you have version 1 and version 2. Version 1 was the original, and the higher the number, the closer you are to the final draft. So, you can keep track of all the different versions of the video project and track its changes just by looking through the different drafts. Pretty cool, right? Well guys, that's been a quick video showing you how to use the video review system from Motion Array. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, check out all of our other great tutorials right here at MotionArray.com. And if you're watching this one, chances are you can benefit from also watching our other video on how to use Motion Array's video portfolios. Another totally free service from Motion Array. Thanks so much for watching, and I can't wait to see you in the next video.